Hello and welcome to A Cranog Story in 10 Objects. In this short series we're going to take you on a journey through our collections of Iron Age artefacts which are two and a half thousand years old. In this short series, we've been taking you on a journey through the collections of the Scottish Cranog Centre. This week, we're looking at the evidence for farming. The development of agriculture in the Near East is one of the most revolutionary changes made to human society. Our lives have never been the same since people began to give up a hunter-gatherer lifestyle around 12,000 years ago and to live in fixed settlements. Why is this so significant? Well, the earliest farmers grew crops and bred livestock. This was a reliable and regular supply of food, and it meant that population numbers increased and large communities, the earliest cities if you will, evolved. In turn, people were able to specialise in skilled technologies. Farming began when wild grasses were cultivated over time until they became the grains we know today, and animals were first domesticated more than 10,000 years ago. Here, in Highland Perthshire, the Cranog dwellers grew their crops on lower-level fertile land and grazed their cows, sheep and goats on the surrounding hillsides. The landscape would have looked very different from today. One of the earliest methods of cultivating land was to use a wooden ard or foot plough. It could only cut shallowly into the soil. This meant that weeds would have grown amongst the grains. Later in the Iron Age, ploughshares were developed. These are iron tips which are fixed onto the plough. They cut deep into the soil and enable deeper ploughing. This results in fewer weeds and a better grain crop. However, the finds from Oakbank Cranog suggest that there were many weeds in the spelt wheat, emma wheat and barley, which were grown on the Cranog farm, so our foot plough quite possibly did not have an iron tip or share. Ploughs are sometimes found on prehistoric sites, deliberately buried near or beneath doorways perhaps as an offering to ensure plentiful food or a good harvest. This plough was found between floor timbers near the Cranog entrance and it could be an example of this practice. <laughs> 